All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to God of War. As always, my name is Ark, and in the last episode, we reached the summit of the mountain and found out that that was not our true destination. Uh, from the um, giant god of knowledge, something uh, named Mimir. And our true destination is in the realm of the giants, which is Jotunheim. And we cut off Mimir's head. And then we brought it back to the Witch of the Woods. And she reanimated it. And we found out that she was actually the goddess Freya. And now, in order to get to Jotunheim, we need a seal... Or a travel rune, and uh, the one who knows how to get it is uh, the World Serpent itself. And apparently, Mimir can talk to it. So, um, we're gonna go bring it to Jormungandr. We're gonna go talk to a giant danger noodle. No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Hope he's not broken. <laughs> well, I mean, how do you think you would feel if you had your head cut off and then brought back to life? Mimir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. speak to the serpent there's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge take me to it Finally, that horn. so this is the horn that i tried to blow a couple episodes like it was one of the first couple episodes um but kratos said that we can't yes. and i guess this is why Wakey, wakey, sneaky, and bakey. Why is he doing that? Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world suffering absolutely abhors the fat dobber, he was probably sick of looking at it. <laughs> but doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Members me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunkun. Ah, oh, eh. Echo no Thunno Funno. He knows 
feels the pain of your loss. He will help you. <laughs> What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, he thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. <laughs> The water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Okay. So, we have a new destination. And we need to get Mimir a magical chisel. First things first, though, is I'm going to go uh, check out with Brock. See if there's... um. See if there's anything upgrade, any upgrades that I can get. Oh there, got another favor to ask you to. Of course you do. What are these? Oh, these must be because um I unlocked the um the the Muspelheim thing. Okay, so I can't craft anything yet. Oh, I can craft those. Those are pretty good. Sure. Looks good. Oh, I have like no money. <laughs> See you next, where's I see you? What do you want, Dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Bari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or are you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? Okay, Deus Ex Malachite. Okay, so we have another side mission. So I am going to um, do a jump cut to after I do the side mission. And I will be right back. Okay, so I am done with the... Um, with the side mission, I'm, I'm over there right now. But a friend of mine told me that um, whenever I'm traveling uh, to record, pretty, re pretty much just record when I travel, mostly because that there's interesting dialogue that happens. So now I am going through the Waygate to head back to Brock's shop, and then we will head back to... Um, You gentlemen certainly know how Back to, to uh, the, where the chisel is. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door. Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was on his floor right now. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Alright, so let's make it back to the shop. So, um, in the side mission, if you didn't watch it, um, I retrieved Anvari's hammer, 
which uh, it was called like the, the alchemist hammer and also he ended up putting his soul into the ring that we got in the one of the previous um side missions and uh we actually kept him and it gave us an enchantment called Anvari's soul which is part of the infinity gauntlet uh, Easter egg of this game if you guys didn't know about it. So essentially I got the soul stone So uh, Kudos to me What is all this red stuff over here? Oh, they're they're the bombs. Hey, I see a realm tear up there I can't believe Odin and Frey were ever married Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine for instance, Odin hates the giants and what they hate us. But Thor's own Ooh. mother was the giantess Jorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Okay. Once Jorgun was so gone, off we go this way. Ages passed, Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Goofy. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. You were taken from this I'll realm too early. early. You who walk and here's another living. side quest. My beloved Gulving calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulving whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulving say their magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. So, They've taken I feel like we talked about Gulvig in, um, I feel like we talked about her in the forum, and I believe, if I remember correctly, people have talked about that she was uh, some sort of magic user. And we were actually speculating that it was possible that uh, the Witch of the Woods was was Gulvig, but obviously now we know that she is Freya. Um, so I'm actually going to do I'll do that side quest next episode, um, since I already did one in uh, off of this one. So, uh, oh, um, hello, Mr. Troll or Ogre or thing. Oh, expertly dodged. That was not. Oh, stun him. So, there we go. So that I can control him. And just take everybody out. Come here, little Dark Elf, Dark Elves. Axe in the face. Done. Yes, I know you want your precious Gulvig. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out, look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Okay, back to our previously scheduled programming. Am I going the right way? This chisel we see. I think so. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. 
There was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of the air spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOOM! struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Oh boy. That is a giant hammer. Oh. You fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty claw bag just got lucky. <laughs> Dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Oh, it's like a werewolf. We call them a woldver. Done. Oh, really? I almost had it. Uh. Got nasty claws. Done, son. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Of course, it's a giant chisel. It's we're at a giant. Wait, is that a hand? Oh shit, it's a hand. Well, I mean, oh right, they were they were talking about how um Thor like made him fall into the village or something like that. So of course he his body's here. Okay, and there's another cave. Nope, that wasn't a real enemy. What about you? Nope. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. It's locked magically. So maybe this is how. This is where I get um. Cause that's two door. That's two of those doors in in one place. Um, th this is where I get the the thing to unlock those. Oh, that um, it's spoopy. Now I'm like always like tensed up whenever I open a uh eh. whenever I open a chest because of that one time that something popped out. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Um, oh, it's in his head. Those. Wait, 
fight them? Like aiming just a little too high. Uh. Get stunned. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was gnarly. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, there's another one. Getting better. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Mr. Ice Ancient. I'm sorry. Oh, I almost had it. Come on, open up again. Open up. Thank you. Ice heart, meet boot. Boot, meet ice heart. Come on. Where are you going, big boy? Uh, done, son. Sweet, I got another ancient heart. Ooh, what's this? Is this okay? That'll be helpful against um icy enemies. Okay. So I see you. Okay, so that blew that up. What does it say? Yes, sir. To Njord, we offer what was that? Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Okay, so I saw that thing. But what does... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So this one. Um, well, I missed. That is not the right symbol. Okay, so that's one. And then the other one, there was one over here. So what do I need again? I need... A, a E and a triangle looking thing. So I need to raise this again. I think that. No, it's not the right. Oh, god dang it. Don't know if that was the right one or not. That is the right one. Okay, so now I just need the triangle looking thing. So 
So let's grab this sap again. And I'll have to take that white crystal over here. Yeah, I see it. Nope. There we go. And that should unlock that. Da -na -na -na. Anything good in here? Ooh. Um, increase axe throws by 6%. I mean, that's not bad. And put on this. Sure. I I don't even get this chest. How the heck do I even get this one? Or that one up there? Meh. Oh, that was a lot of hack silver. I'll take it. Alright, now let's pick up the Sith Crystal. And now we will bring it over here. And see what this is for. Oh, that's a, a realm tear. Okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I guess. Wasn't expecting that. Was expecting a fight, but I'll take it. Okay. Now let's continue on to the giant. Those are like frosty nightmares. Well, that was easy. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Mm -hmm. Boy. Okay, so after I'm going to fight these, I'm going to end the episode. Dunked on. Getting better at that. Alright, bounce between them. Done. Any more? Of course there's more. And there's an ogre. Oh, there's more than one ogre. Okay. Let's get you on my side. Let's go, uh, let's go Hulk smash.
Done. Done. Oh, Sindri's up there. Okay. So I'm gonna pick up all my loot. And uh, this is where I'm gonna end the episode. So I hope that you all enjoyed this episode of God of War, and I hope that you also checked out the the side mission that I did. Um, it was actually pretty interesting from the standpoint, I think. And uh, I hope that you stay tuned in for the next one. So, uh, as always, my name is Ark, this has been God of War, and I'll see you all next time.